We know that in our heart. We know that our opponents will invoke the name of Abraham Lincoln on behalf of their candidate, despite the fact that his political career has often seemed to show charity towards none and malice for all. We know it will not be easy to campaign against a man who has spoken and voted on every side of every issue. Mr. Nixon may feel that it's his turn now, after the New Deal and the Fair Deal. But before he deals, someone's going to cut the cards. That someone may be the millions of Americans who voted for President Eisenhower, but would balk at electing his successor. For just as historians tell us that Richard I was not fit to fill the shoes of the bold Henry II, and that Richard Cromwell was not fit to wear the mantle of his uncle, they might add in future years that Richard Nixon did not measure up to the footsteps of Dwight D. Eisenhower. Perhaps he could carry on the party policies, the policies of Nixon and Benson and Dirksen and Goldwater, but this nation cannot afford such a luxury. Perhaps we could afford a Coolidge following Harding, and perhaps we could afford a Pierce following Fillmore, but after Buchanan, this nation needed Lincoln. After Taft, we needed Wilson, and after Hoover, we needed Franklin Roosevelt. 